They are community-based mental health care and a coincidence of specialized treatment for offenders with mental disorders. Uh, the, the both achievements are very, uh, very much required in uh, modern mental health care. And so many countries have their own forensic mental health systems, uh, which link together uh, different disciplines. However, uh, Japan has no spe specific legal provisions uh, for offenders with mental disorders uh, for many years. And such offenders were treated under the Mental Health and Welfare, work, welfare Law. And it is a, a law, uh, law of uh, health care, <coughs> uh, completely detached from the criminal justice system. And so uh, this system, uh, named as Officially Involuntary Hospitalization, OIH, was broadly criticized by both lawyers and psychiatrists uh, due to the lack of uh, human rights and concern or uh, security of uh, the mental hospitals. And to solve this problem, the Japanese forensic mental health system underwent reform and that coincide, coincided with enforcement of the Act of Mental Care and Treatment uh, for the persons who had for serious cases and the condition of insanity. Uh, this is uh, a little bit uh, wrong uh, name. In abbreviated uh, to the Mental Treatment, Mental Treatment and Supervision Act, MTS Act, in 2005. And so uh, this, is, uh, this is the scheme of the pathway for offenders with mental disorders in the MTS Act. As you can see, uh, 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 a person uh, who had uh, who, who committed uh, um, violence uh, is arrested by the police, and the police uh, sent him uh, to the prosecutor. And the prosecutor investigates the case, and he appealed to the to this case the, this case uh, to the court, and court uh, decides him a sentence. And so uh, he was he is sent to the prison, and finally he returned to the society. However, uh, there, are some, there are some ways uh, to, uh, of diversion from criminal, uh, from criminal justice system uh, to uh, forensic mental system. And this, in this way, uh, these ways are in the diversion system. The prosecutor can appeal the, appeal the case uh, to the court panel of the MTS Act. And the court decision can also they send him to the court panel. And this court panel is <coughs> established in a district court. And the, pa the panel is consisted of a psychiatrist and a judge. And the panel uh, discuss the, the treatment uh, of this offender uh, during the hospitalization for assessment. And court panel finally uh, make a decision whether he is uh, to be hospitalized to a special mental hospital. It, uh, it, gives, it gives him a special mental health care or a community treatment order uh, of, uh, by the outpatient clinic. Otherwise, uh, no treatment order. Under the MTS Act, uh, the court panel can arrive at three possible verdicts. Uh, the, their hospitalization order, the committee treatment order, or no treatment. And the, the offender is to be hospitalized during the psychiatric examination. It is limited uh, to maximum, maximum three months, while continuing an appropriate course of psychiatric treatment. It is named as hospitalization for assessment. So it is uh, today, the today's issue.
The hospitalization for assessment has not been standardized, uh, different from special medical hospitals for treatment orders. And now, now uh, there are 286 institutions accepting hospitalization for assessment in Japan, whose, but whose structures and human resources are quite various. And therefore, uh, we investigated annually the overview and actual situation of, of hospitalization for assessment uh, for several years to optimize the treatment in it. And we sent a series of questionnaires every year to estimate, estimated institutions accepting hospitalization for assessment. So uh, I will introduce uh, the part of the results. Uh, we do, did not gather personal information regarding the patients. And we reported the contents of this survey to the ESCA Council of Chiba Psychiatric Medical Center in advance. And the council declared that the survey did not pose any ESCA problems. The response rates are the bureau. The response rate in institutions was 46.9%. And the capture rate of in subjects was 44.1%. And a total of 171 cases <coughs> were gathered. And this graph uh, describes the patient, uh, psychiatric patient rate of in each institution. Uh, you can see the variation of the uh, human resources. In special hospital, one one psychiatrist is uh, working uh, for. 7.5 patients. Uh, however, in usual mental hospital, one, one doctor or psychiatrist uh, have to deal with 48 uh, patients in that hospital. And so uh, these, uh, these hospitals are very uh, a lack of uh, psychiatric care. Uh, when it comes to, uh, come to the nurse, nurse patient rate, uh, it is also very uh, varied. In special hospital, uh, there are 1.3 nursing, nursing staff, registered nurse, uh, per one patient. Of course, uh, not, all, not all the nurses are uh, in the hospital uh, at the same time. Uh, they, they, they shift or not shift or mid night shift. Uh, but there are uh, many, many nursing staff. Uh, to the to uh, patients in the hospital. Uh, however, in some chronic care ward in a mental hospital, one, only one nurse uh, per five patients is working in the hospital. So, uh, in my uh, in your in our uh, in our opinion, uh, at least uh, one one nurse per uh, two patients are required uh, to treat. Psychiatric patient in emergency care, yeah, but many many hospitals uh, for assessment uh, didn't uh, meet the criteria. Uh, this, uh, these are uh, demo demographic data of the patients. The gender was uh, male was uh, seventy two percent. Uh, it is uh, unusual. It, it is quite usual uh, because uh, many offenders are. Patients. The age <coughs> of the patients are very varied. The, uh, the uh, median age was uh, 40s. Uh, some patients are very old, old and uh, some patients are young. About their living condition, about three, uh, three fourths of the patients are are living with family members. Uh, it is uh, one of the uh, characteristics of in Japanese, in Japanese patients. And so uh, it is likely that a uh, family, uh, family member is to be victimized uh, by the patient's offending. Uh, this, is a, uh, this graph shows the category of the offense. Actually, the MTS Act deals with only six types of offending. Murder or attempted murder, injury, robbery, arson, rape, and other sexual coercion. Among them, uh, the injury is the most uh, dominant uh, 
type of crimes. And uh, arson is for, uh, followed by arson. Now how about victims? In the case of arson, it is likely that the, the house of uh, the offender's own is most likely to be victimized. On the other hand, a family member is likely to be victimized. So outsider or acquaintance are, not, uh, are less likely to be victimized in the offender offend uh, by a mental disorder patients. And this graph describes the clinical diagnosis of the patient. Uh, approximately two thirds of the patients uh, are suffering from schizophrenia or other psychotic disorders. And few patients are have substance abuse, mood disorders, or other organic uh, brain syndromes, and uh, others. Now, it is also a unique uh, characteristic of in Japan. Only seven, only eight percent uh, has has been diagnosed as substance abuse disorders. It is very quite few. Um, I think that because it is the difference of diagnostic, diagnostic system in Japan and other countries. In Japan, methamphetamine or amphetamine is very dominant in substance abuse. And so and they are and they, they tend to be diagnosed and, uh, as such as such substance abuse disorders are, are tend to not uh, not to be hospitalized uh, but uh, going to jail. And so, uh, how, however, uh, few, very few patients uh, with schizophrenia uh, use uh, methamphetamine or other illegal drugs. And so, uh, it is a unique characteristic in Japan. And this graph shows therapeutic status in the past. Uh, before, the, uh, before committing the crime, only two, uh, only 21 percent percent of the patients were therapy, therapy na naive. Uh, on the other hand, about uh, two thirds of the patients uh, have experienced of uh, some uh, some therapies in the past. And so uh, it is very uh, very regretful uh, that uh, we psychiatrists uh, we psychiatrists uh, fail to uh, treat them uh, appropriately. And this graph is also showing, uh, showing the history of uh, hospitalization of in the past. About uh, the majority of the patients uh, who committed serious cases uh, have uh, at least one experience of hospitalization. And some of them were uh, hospitalized uh, by government, government order, uh, officer involuntary hospitalization. Uh, but uh, this uh, treatment uh, could not uh, prevent uh, further crime. <coughs> About suicidal attempts and self injuries, uh, some patients have suicidal uh, thoughts uh, at the hospitalization of as uh, for assessment. About one, uh, <coughs> uh, sorry. About uh, twenty percent uh, have suicidal attempts or. Uh, suicidal thoughts. And so uh, it is important to uh, evaluate uh, their suicidal thought at the hospitalization. In contents of therapies, uh, most of the patients are, are given uh, some, uh, some kind of medication. And, but uh, cro uh, but uh, special treatment uh, such as clozapine, intravenous injection, intramuscular injection, or uh, long acting injection, or electroconvulsive therapy, or uh, infrequently uh, done. I think this, uh, this is uh, quite, u quite usual. And so, uh, treatment options are uh, somewhat uh, standardized in Japan. Uh, however, about seclusion criteria, uh, some patients are secluded uh, for a long time. Uh, such as uh, all, almost all the day, all the day during the hospitalization for assessment. Now uh, it is very problematic. 
and uh, about restraint, uh, some patients are also uh, restricted uh, physically uh, with uh, some uh, with some uh, cross cuff uh, onto the bed. And this graph describes the results of assessment. In the in hospitalization for assessment, an examiner uh, which, uh, who is a psychiatrist uh, make one uh, make decision and uh, write an examination paper, and say, uh, and he send uh, he sent to the court panel, and the court panel uh, uh, make final decision. The examiner's exam, uh, examiner's recommendation about about. Uh, 60 or 70 percent of the uh, patient uh, should be hospitalized into the special hospital. And in most of the cases, the uh, court panel adhere to the examiner's choice. But however, uh, there are some, uh, some cases uh, rejected uh, to be dealt with this scheme. And um, uh, perhaps uh, due to the reason of uh, not insanity uh, of uh, mental disorders. So uh, we get uh, the, out, uh, the outcome. 120 patients are, host uh, are taken by hospitalization order, and uh, all of them were hospitalized to the uh, special hospital. Uh, however, uh, there are tw uh, 12 patients are uh, done uh, with committee treatment order, uh, but half of them, uh, half of them are not. Uh, and go, uh, not uh, going to home. Uh, four patients are, are still um, hospitalized in a mental hospital, and, uh, perhaps due to the lack of uh, social resources. Uh, on the other hand, uh, 27 pa patients are not treated uh, in this uh, in the MTS Act, yeah, but uh, the majority of them uh, were taken some treatment uh, in general psychiatric care and five patients are rejected uh, to be treated uh, in this scheme and uh, the reason of uh, criminal responsible, responsibility in this uh, in these cases uh, the prosecutor has uh, has a choice has a choice uh, to to appeal this uh, this criminal uh, onto the court again uh, this is a summary uh, we gather that the data composed of uh, approximately half of the subjects who are subjected into the MTS Act in a year. And human resources of the institutions uh, differ each other. Majority of the offenders are male patients with psychotic, psychotic disorders. Most of them have treatment history, and the majority received inpatient care in the past. And family members and their own houses tend to be victimized and treatment options were similar in each institution. However, seclusion and restraint were taken for a long period in some cases. And so, and the MTS Act attempts to give the offenders with mental disorders optimized care, but human resources and treatment policies in hospitalization for assessment should be more standardized. Thank you for your attention.